So, you want to mod Mario Sunshine. Um, well, you've came to the right place. Um, today I'll be showing you the first steps of how to mod Mario Sunshine. And the most preliminary step, I guess, would be getting an ISO of Mario Sunshine. Uh, now, we need to show you how to do this the legal way. I don't want to be getting anybody in trouble. Um, so, uh, what I have here is my collection. Um, you can choose any region of Mario Sunshine. Um, but I recommend the USA region because our hacking tools are developed around this version specifically. Um, the only real issue I've seen people run into is changing text in the game because of language files. Um, but yeah, any region should work. Uh, not only will you need a disc of the game, um, you will also need a SD card. And if you're using a GameCube specifically to dump it, you're going to need... A SD card to save port adapter, and you're going to want to grab a action replay. Let me get it close there if you want to see it. There you go, that's what it looks like. Has these little bumps on the back. Alright. Yeah, because the GameCube security can be bypassed uh, through the SD port, and you also need the disk in order to uh, run the code, basically. Um, but for the Wii, all you need is just a single SD card, and you're set. Now, while that's everything you need to dump the game, uh, you'll need to install uh, Homebrew. Homebrew on the Wii is different than Homebrew on the GameCube, and I've linked two t tutorials in the description uh, that you can watch, and each of them will show you how to Homebrew your GameCube or Wii, respectively. Um, and then from there, I'll just show you quickly how to add uh, this app that we're going to add to Homebrew that will get the game files off the disk. Um, so what we have here is this tool, CleanRip, also link in the description. There's this one button right here, CleanRip v2.1.1. You're going to want to download that one, the .zip file, and that will have this. So you can close out of that for now. So to just, if you're on GameCube, it says cleanrip-gc.dull. Now that's what we're going to want if we're on GameCube. Now if you're on Wii, you're going to want to get this apps folder. And inside the apps folder, there should be the uh, clean rip for Wii. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to show the GameCube first. So once that's downloaded, you'll see three things here. Um, README, clean rip, GC, and apps. Um, now, I'm going to show how to do it on a GameCube first. And um, we're going to use this file for the GameCube. So what you're going to want to do is just carry over this file into your GameCube SD card. Um, and if you watch that guy's tutorial, he mentioned that if you name it auto exec, uh, it'll automatically boot into uh, Swiss. Um, so I recommend renaming your Swiss doll to auto exec. Makes things simple. Um, and we will take this out of our computer and put it on the GameCube. All right. So back at the GameCube, you're gonna want to put your SD card inside of your adapter. Put that adapter in the second port, and make sure your action replay disc is in the disc tray, and power it on. Now it should go through the little boot up, and then it should just be on a black screen for a little bit, but trust me, it's loading. Uh, now that we are booted into Swiss, we're going to want to run that clean rip that we downloaded earlier. So you'll just want to hit A, and it'll start loading it. It will give you this little disclaimer. We can just ignore that once it lets us. Okay, press A. Enabling checksum, just make sure that it's a really good copy of Sunshine, and make sure that you're not dumping it uh, falsely. Like, it just basically make sure that um, when it's finished, that it's a good dump. So you, you want to just hit yes. Um, since our thing is in save port B, we're going to select save port B. If yours is in A, select save slot A, but mine's in B. Um, now, your SD card apparently needs to be FAT32. I did not mention that, but ours luckily is, so we'll just hit A to continue. And now we want to insert the game. So we'll take our copy of Sunshine, and we will take out our action replay. All right, close the lid, hit A. It'll start reading the disc. 
and this is not a detailed disk and we will save our settings for next time alright and as you can see the ETA is pretty long um, so uh, just sit back and stay comfortable uh, I'll, it'll be a while All right, and there we are. Uh, it only took about a half an hour. And, uh, of course, it's not verified with the website yet because the GameCube doesn't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> so, yeah, but if you plug that text into that website, it should be able to tell you whether your dump is good dump, what version it is maybe, but that's about it. All right, so now let's get back to the computer. For you uh, Wii users who are dumping the game with Wii, you're going to want to use this app folder and you're going to want to put the app folder right on the root of your SD card instead of the cleanrip.doll. And that's pretty much the whole process, you just on the computer side of things at least. So now we can just eject our SD card and let's head over to the console. Alright, we got the SD card inserted into the Wii. So we can bring it on over to the screen and we go launch our homebrew channel and when we launch it we should see the clean rip app. Perfect, so let's just select that and hit load. So it has a little disclaimer letting us know that hey, uh, you know, blah blah blah, there we go. Um, enable checksum, we will say yes. Uh, this just, you know, ensures that it's it, it's dumped correctly and everything. Um, and we are using the front SD for this. And make sure it's FAT32, which it is. Um, hit yes to download this if you haven't already. It's... Okay, cool. Um... So now we want to insert our game. So let's get Mario Sunshine and just insert that right on into the game slot. And we'll hit A to continue and it should start the dumping process. And you say no to this because this is not a Daytel disc. And we'll just say yes to save our settings so it knows next time if we ever dump again. Alright, so that says it should take 11 minutes. Uh, so just sit tight and it'll dump it eventually. Alright, looks like it finished dumping it. And uh, as you can see, it checked with the website and found that the MD5 is verified, which means that our copy of Sunshine is legit, authentic, and we dumped it correctly. So yeah, with that, you can just basically hit A to continue, and we can hit B to exit. Alright, so now that we've dumped the game, you should go back to your SD card, and you'll find these files here. You'll find a GMSE, and possibly a GMSE uh, dump info. So this file right here that looks like a disk, that's the one that is the actual game itself. So we're just going to put that onto our desktop. Um, now, I should explain something about why it's named GMSE01. So, uh, each video game for the GameCube has, like, an ID of sorts, and I'm pretty sure this is how it's um, read. The G for GameCube, MS for Mario Sunshine, then E for English, and then O1 for the version of the English game. So, I have Game Mario Sunshine English Version 1. So, yeah, that's what it means. So, if you have something that's slightly different, like GMSJ01, then you probably have the first revision of the Japanese version of the game. But either way, no matter what ISO you're using, we should be able to hack it. The only real problem with hacking, if you have a different thing than English, is that our text editor for the text boxes in the game is designed around the English ROM. So if you have a European ROM, if you're trying to edit text files, um, like NPC dialogue, then it might not work. So I pr I just say I recommend getting an English version of the game if you can get your hands on it. Um, cause yeah, the text editor we have works with English as far as I'm aware, and only English. 
So it's one thing to be able to get a copy of Mario Sunshine and put it on your computer, but it's another thing to take that copy of Mario Sunshine and play it back on the console again. Um, so what I'm going to show you next is how we're going to go about playing this game on our GameCube or Wii again. Now, this is important because there are certain bugs in a Mario Sunshine mod that will only show up on console. Because Dolphin Emulator is not 100% accurate to real hardware, so there will be some bugs that only the actual real hardware itself will have. And now, you might be saying, well, I don't care about real hardware, I only want people to play this mod on emulators. Well, the thing is, as the Dolphin dev team make Dolphin more accurate to the console, your mod will become more buggy. Um, so just for the sake of preserving your own works of art, uh, your own mods, you will probably want to make it uh, console compatible. So I'm going to show you also how to run games on the consoles. Um, so if you are a stinky Wii user, um, you're going to want to get a new app. So we'll go in our apps folder, and I'm just going to bring up this website I had here. This will be in the description somewhere. Um, so uh, this is just a GBA temp post. But if you scroll down, uh, you will find install. Um, so you want to right click this and hit save link as. And then there'll be this meta.xml and then we will just save that to our desktop for now. And then we'll download this loader.doll and it says to rename it to boot.doll so we'll make sure to do that. You can just click that and that'll give us loader.doll. All right, perfect. So we can close out of our window there. All right. So there is our two files. And as he said, rena rename that to boot. So B O O T, boom. So that is our GameCube player for the Wii. So we want to create a new folder and we'll just call it. Nintendo. So N I N T E N D O N T. Boom. Done. And we just want to place that right inside the Nintendo folder we just created. And then we're done with that. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create a games folder. Uh, so we're going to create a new folder on the root of our SD card. And we're going to name it games. So that's new folder games. And then inside that games folder, we're going to create another folder. And we're going to title this whatever whatever we want, but I'm just going to name it Super Mario Sunshine. All right. And so inside that Super Mario Sunshine folder, we're going to put our game. And we're just going to wait for that to uh, do its thing for a little bit. So now that that's done transferring, I'm just going to show you again. We have the games folder, Super Mario Sunshine, and we need to rename this to game. Otherwise, it just won't detect it. It needs to be named game if you're on a Wii. Alright, and with that all being done, we're going to put this in the Wii and test it out. Alright, so we're back here on the Wii. We're going to launch our homebrew channel. And once we get that booted up, you'll see we have Nintendo us as well as our clean rip from earlier, and we're going to want to load Nintendo. And now you might want to plug in your GameCube controller. I believe it takes USB controllers as well, so if you need to test it with a, a different controller, you should be able to just plug in a USB controller, and in theory that should work. Um, so we're going to hit SD card because we saved our games to the SD card. And you'll see that it has GMSE01 Mario Sunshine. So we'll just hit A and load that. Give it a couple seconds. And what do you know? It's playing Mario Sunshine on our Wii from an SD card, which is exactly what we want. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to show you how to do it on a GameCube. All right, so if you're trying to test your games on GameCube instead of Wii, uh, the process is like 1,000 times easier. So you know how we got that game file and we put it on our computer? Uh, now we just put the game file and put it back on the SD card. That's literally it. All you gotta do is have it on the SD card. No putting it in a fancy game folder, no renaming it to game.iso, no. You can just have the ISO, 
sitting on the SD card out in the open, and you can load it right from Swiss. So yeah, um, now that we have that on the SD card, let's go back over to the GameCube and test it out. All right, we're back at the GameCube. As you can see, disc in the disc tray, SD card in the SD card port reader. Then we want to slam the, the tray and then power the thing on. And it's just going to go through its little boot up. All right, so it booted up. And as you can see, we have our Mario Sunshine just sitting there in our list of files. So we can literally just... Uh, use our GameCube controller and oh hello game oh my GameCube controller is still plugged into the Wii so we can just go right down and we can hit A and you can add some cheats you can edit the settings but all you really got to do is hit A and boot the game And there you go. Sunshine running on a GameCube. Alright, so we have our game on our desktop, and that's about it for this video. Um, so next video will hopefully be uh, going over how to extract the game files and how to recompress the game files, and then how to run it in Dolphin. Alright, thank you. Bye.